On October 12, 1960, Anijiro Asunuma, a Japanese politician and leader of the Japan Socialist Party, was assassinated by a 17-year-old boy, Otoya Yamaguchi, a militant nationalist during a debate for the coming elections of the House of Representatives. While Asunuma spoke from the lectern at Tokyo's Habiya Hall, Yamaguchi rushed on stage and ran his wakizashi through Asunuma's abdomen, killing him. Japanese television company NHK was recording the debate for later transmission, and the tape of Asunuma's assassination was shown many times to millions of viewers. Otoya Yamaguchi was a member of the GLP, an ultra-right-wing political group. It's not unheard of for such groups to come into possession of firearms. Indeed, despite Japan's history of strict firearm and weapon control dating back to Ember Hideyoshi's sword hunt, which banned swords and firearms on the hips of non-noble classes, weapons of all varieties have slipped through the cracks of military and police searches. Yamaguchi undoubtedly had access to firearms, but chose to attack Asunuma with a wakazashi. The wakazashi is solely a Japanese creation, preferred in the hands of nationalists like Yamaguchi. While the full samurai sword, the katana, was left at the doors to castles and other establishments, the wakazashi was carried on the left hip at all times, perfect for the paranoid mind. And the wakazashi was the tool used to commit seppuku or ritualized stomach cutting. When a samurai was shamed, this was the method of suicide and capital punishment. One would gouge their wakazashi into their gut, disemboweling themselves. While held in a juvenile detention facility, Yamaguchi mixed a small amount of toothpaste with water and wrote on his cell wall, Long live his imperial majesty, the emperor. Yamaguchi then knotted strips of his bedsheet into a makeshift rope and used it to hang himself from the light fixture. Yamaguchi's end started with his wakazashi. He brought shame to his movement and he showed that he couldn't live past the scrutiny of its detractors. Tread carefully. We all have wakazashis on our hips.